Have you ever been engaged in an activity? Maybe you were talking to a good friend or you were working on a project and all of a sudden you felt yourself at another level. You felt completely immersed as if there were no separation between you and what was happening. Or perhaps you've tried extreme sports and the, um, the level of concentration and focus that you had to have was so critical that it really made you completely present. So today we're going to talk about that connection of meditation and being in the zone, which is referred to by many athletes and artists of being in a certain state of flow. And I'd like to begin by saying that meditation is a tool. It is a practice in which some people approach it differently. Um, the practice of mental exercises that you apply concentration and focus in order to have a higher spiritual or self-awareness. So it is simply a tool and there are many ways to get to that inner state. And one of the most primary ways that people don't really think about is simply doing something that you deeply enjoy. Finding something that you're passionate about that creates a sense of bliss or peace or relaxation for you. So just think about some of those things where you felt tapped in at a different level. Maybe it wasn't all the time that you did that, but some of the time. So just take a moment to think about that. And there are many ways that we can apply this practice of meditation. We can meditate when we're walking. We can meditate when we're talking. We can do a dance meditation. We can engage in Tai Chi and yoga and this becomes a form of meditation. And what athletes refer to as being in the zone is oftentimes when they're engaged in a intense sport or activity that requires all of their attention, all of their focus, all of their concentration they'll break through to another level where suddenly it feels that they're one with everything that's happening. They achieve a state of oneness and some people describe it as moving in slow motion. I've experienced it a few times as moving with existence, moving with the universe. Suddenly you're just really plugged into the matrix and the connection of life and you feel that sense of oneness. There is a togetherness that begins to happen. And we talked before about different qualities of energy. Some energy feels really scattered or dissipated, not really very solid. And some energy feels unified, it feels coherent and peaceful and you feel like you're all here, all now. So. It doesn't really matter which exercise you choose to go to that inner state within yourself. What matters is that you pay attention to which activities, which environments allow you to go to that state most easily and continue to practice that again and again. So for some people, their Zen might be dance and for others it might be sports whatever it is that brings you into that state of pure concentration and awareness, that is the state that you're looking to cultivate. And what I think is most powerful is actually combining the practice of meditation together with something that you love. So if you practice meditation in the morning, it'll enhance whatever it is that you want to develop your craft in and it helps you develop that inner state of consciousness because really what matters most is the consciousness that you're cultivating, the consciousness that you're creating with and versus just what you're doing. So it's really connecting deeply at that level. 
and that's what helps you to experience a sense of unity, a sense of oneness, and with that comes with a lot of peace and inner calm. So we're just going to end now. This is a really short talk today. We're going to end with a simple guided meditation that allows you to tap into the sense of calm, a sense of connection. And I'd like you to consider your favorite aspect of nature. Maybe it's a lot of trees, maybe it's the ocean, the mountains, a sunrise or sunset. So just think about an aspect of nature that you feel very connected to. I personally feel connected to clouds. So take one of those aspects and I would like you to just envision connecting to that aspect of nature. And now envision being one with that part of nature, that your body becomes that aspect of nature. Gently meditating on that vision and also your love for that element. Allowing yourself to surrender fully to that visualization and becoming aware of how it affects your body and your mind. And when you're ready, you can gently open your eyes, become aware of yourself, and remember that meditation is a practice to help us become more present, at ease, at peace and that when we combine meditation with those things that we enjoy, that we're interested in, that we're passionate about, it allows us to tap into the zone. It allows us to tap into the oneness of life and it's in that place where you feel that you're moving together with life in harmony and flow with life. And it's about first establishing that inner sense of connection and then allowing your action, actions and intentions to stem to be sourced from that place. So follow your joy, it's important because meditation is about achieving joy or bliss consciousness and these are tools to help you get there.